What is up, what is up, what is up, FS Club, FS Daily News. Hopefully you guys all an amazing Friday. Yes, Friday is finally here. This week seemed to drag. But anyways, before we get started, make sure you guys put in the comment section below, hashtag FS Daily News. Like always, this is a premiere. Let's try for 100 likes. If you're watching this after premiere, let's try for 600 likes. You know what? Let's get to that news. Here we go. And the first piece of news is, of course, Friday guys, so that means fact sheet Friday. The first fact sheets to go over. We have ABTT281 Plus. This is of course a tractor, 92,000, 109 horsepower, 90 liters of gas, wheel options, trail borgomitis. We have standard lawn tires, so that's definitely different lawn tires, twin wheels and wide tires. So there's that one. Next one we have is for the SEP Canoozle. I believe that's how you say that, F240. It's a mower. $12,000, 40 horsepower is required, and 2.4 working meters, guys. So there's that one. We also got another one. We had the SIP Air 300F Alp wind rower. 15,000, 100 horsepower is required for this one, and 3.5 working meters. And then the last one is the Pottinger Euroboss 330DT forage wagon. $45,000, required horsepower is 90, Holds up to 20,500 liters. And of course, this is to pick up, you know, your uh, straw, your grass, whatever. And that's not all. We also got the Alpine DLC slot count. Remember, guys, these are still in work in progress and they might change into release. And these are for consoles, PCs, you don't have slots. Also, though, if you are on PCs and you're interested in the DLC, make sure you guys do check out the club's affiliate link in the description below. It does help out the club a little bit and it doesn't cost any extra. Anyways, let's get to the slot counts for consoles. Uh, I believe the highest one on there is the Rigatrek SKH 75 tractor at 32 slots. That's actually not too bad. I mean, we get some that are, what, 50, 60, a lot of John Deere's that are that. And then the map, the Erling Grab map is at 522. So to me, that's not too bad. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments section below. Okay, if you guys want to look more at these uh, slot counts, make sure you guys pause the video and you can take a look at them. Okay, the next piece of news is from Agritechnic. And what we got here is they're introducing the new par partner, the Mammoth, yeah, I cannot pronounce that right there, but it's the SC240XL. These will be coming to PC and consoles very soon. Release date is unknown though. That looks amazing right there. Okay, so there's that one. Next one, we got two things from 40 again. He had this to say, Sutton Beat slash Potato High Tip Bucket is now uploaded to Giants for release on the consoles as a Lizard brand can't wait for that one and then of course he's been working on that heston 4900 he had this to say added options to the heston 4900 nh bb 980 baler the nodder blower and the additional twine storage so this is going to be just like his d1000 which i love that on pc i can't wait for that one to actually come to consoles too on that one okay the next piece of news is from euro agri body he had this to say update on the i4 williams tt3621 Finished up working on the ramps and other animations and added number plate options. We'll move into the specular and normal maps now. Uh, PC and consoles very, very soon. So that looks good right there. That's going to go good with the TLX and uh, NMC trucks and the Skurik. That's going to be amazing right there. And the next piece of news is from Custom Modding. They posted this yesterday saying, yes, it's true. The 4940 is finally in the release queue. I think so far this is the most anticipated mod from custom modding and it's not for the less. It took many hours of dedication to reach that final test. So this is going to be amazing right here, but some information on it. Let's see. Model, of course, is the 4940. Uh, max speed, 50. Price, 195,000. Power, 340. Uh, let's see. Displacement, 9.0 liter, 549 cubic inches. Uh, drive full-time uh, four-wheel drive. Fuel capacity is 587 liters, which is uh, 155 gallons. Uh, boom is 120 foot boom. Spray speed is zero to 32 kilometers or zero to 20 miles per hour. Features, dry box, the 120 foot boom. The John Deere new leader color decals options in the dry box. Starfire 3000 options. 10 different tire com combinations. Four wheel independent dynamic suspension. Entrance animation, ladder and steering wheel. Joystick animations forward, neutral park and reverse. Monitors with realistic animation, speed, hours, hectic acres worked, ETC. Wow, that's amazing. 
realistic suction con section control with 11 selectable sections just like in real life. Wow. Support for dry box and 120 foot boom coupling, direct injection option, uh, load command system option, open door, realistic starting animations, green star 3 monitor with spray star and spread star, tires world crop, tires LSW, fenders options, beacon options, support to the manure system for resilient loading, uh, numbers, realistic lights, realistic prices, tire brands available, Firestone, Goodyear, Midas, and Michelin, which you know Firestone and Goodyear will not be probably making it onto the console's version, but wow, there is a lot on this. And they also posted this, it did fail testing yesterday, but they have already fixed it and sent it back in, so hopefully this next week it does pass. I cannot wait for this. This thing it looks amazing. Okay, let's get to the next and last piece of regular news for today. And that is from Mr. Oxygen David. He had this to say, Welcome to Autumn Wood Farm on Chillington Valley. This farm contains cows, calves, and chickens. And this just looks amazing. I think there's supposed to be like, what, 10 farms on this map? I cannot wait for this. And remember, guys, this channel will have an early preview copy. So whenever I do get it, guys, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of videos on this. I cannot wait for this map. Okay, so there's that. Next thing we got, guys, is, of course, we got some new mods in. Let's go over them real quick. Here we go. On all platforms, we have the same Lamborghini Herleman 190, Lizard APL, Grisani Compact 10 from SMI Modding, Zip Disc 260, Lizard TM Series, Man TGS Agroliner Pack, New Holland CR 5080, Lizard MS2, Man TGS Agroliner Pack, No Man's Land update from uh, Mr. Alien Jim, which this brings a lot of placeables into it, Kaminki update, CSE Equipment Pack update, Man TGS Semi Truck Pack update, John Deere 6M update, New Holland T4 update, Amazon T Pack update, Viking Vibraflow 1500 update, Lizard 60 update, Small Bunker Silo Set update, and that is it. That's a lot of new mods and a lot of updates. Okay, let's go to that testing list. In testing on PC, we have the Bailey CT14, the Brazilian Warehouse Without Doors, Brick Barn. Canterbury Infinity, Dejur TBX 36S, Fence, Fence, Flowers, Grain Silo, GWN Farm Supply, Coal Coal, oh, wow. I cannot pronounce that one, Crone Big X Series, Lizard Master 12,000, Manhole, Multi-Purpose Warehouse, MVU-8, Obe Agri 10T, Obe Ape, Pack Bunker Silo Covered, Pre-Mold Brazilian Shed, Pronar T-680, Quad Bike Trailer, Sawmill Pack, then we have two Geos, one for UK Southwest Xmouth and Six Ashes. Then we have semi-closed Brazilian shed, shop, and tire sound. So that is on the PC side. And on PS4 and Xbox One, you're not going to be very happy about this. We have Westbridge Hills. That is it. One. I don't think we've ever had just only one mod being tested for our consoles. Number of mods waiting to be tested is 123. Current waiting time, guys, is six work days. Remember, this is the last testing list for the day, guys. Well, actually, for the week and, of course, the last new mods and updates for the week. Okay, so that is the fact sheets, the news, the new mods, and updates for today. And, of course, that testing list. Today's schedule, after this video will come out, the new mod video, probably about an hour or two after this one. And then, of course, tonight at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time will be the live stream. So, hopefully, you do have an amazing rest of your weekend. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys have planned for this weekend. Like always, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. And if you haven't subbed, make sure you guys do. And like always, have an all-state farmers. Peace.